then um, Arjun and I, we have been taking turns in taking care of, of the maintenance, a little maintenance of the TJ, um, TJ's uh, installation. So some of them kind of get l l lost. So I have been collecting just the rods. And I do update TJ. And um, everybody just absolutely loves it. And somebody was telling me that he's going to write a letter and ask for more yeah. art like this. So it is a very, very popular one, the people who can get to it and look at it. And the signs are fully done. There is a sign right um, by uh, the walkway from, uh, from the uh, school going down. So there is a sign with an arrow there. And... Uh, what else I wanted to tell you? Well, then I talked to um, <laughs> about this music. Well, we were talking, and she said that she has this um, pianist. And uh, I immediately ran to pa Patty. I told her about it, and we asked uh, Judith to give us some sort of a um, a report on it so we can, apparently he's very popular and his timing, uh, his appointments are really long. It might take not this year, maybe next year. So we, I think it's a very lovely idea. It is not a permanent thing and it is only one day of having a most unusual um, musical day and uh, I think we will talk about it later. So we have a, about five action items coming up which I would uh, ask Nora to help me, help me out on that. Uh, the, the action number one is actually it's receiving report on um, Thomas Jackson. Do you want me to read that? If you like to read okay. the whole thing. That's it's fine. It's kind of long, <laughs> but... That, that's fine. Receive update on Thomas Jackson expenditures, review expenditures, and balance remaining in the dedicated fund. Receive proposal for a Thomas Jackson video project and consider approval. Review plan for Thomas Jackson installation and date and take down. So we'll take it one by one. Uh, Arjun, if you don't mind to, to tell us sure. the updates. Um, Do you want me to read the staff report first? Sure. Okay. That'd be great. Thank you. Um, staff report prepared by Patty Pickett. Background. The public art installation Thomas Jackson Collaborative Nature opened on June 20th and is scheduled for removal on July 9th, 2023. The artist, Thomas Jackson, has indicated he will be returning to remove the installation. Final costs are listed below with a balance remaining in the dedicated Thomas Jackson Fund. A proposal for a short documentary about the installation in particular and Thomas Jackson in general is being presented for consideration and approval. See Exhibit 1, Thomas Jackson Video Project Proposal. Financial Analysis. Funds raised from private donations, $9,037. From the Tiburon Peninsula Foundation, $5,000. From the town of Tiburon, $7,000. And LAIF interest, $96.06. Total as of 5-22-23 is $21,133.06. Uh, on the next page, expenditures. Installation materials and artist fee were $12,000. Airfare final invoice trip one approved in the amount of $386. Trip two approved in the amount of $465. Going on to item number three, snacks, drinks for volunteers approved at 150. The donor reception at Tiburon Lodge on May 20th 
$2,331.88, and additional refreshments for the donor reception provided by the Nugget, $66.08, Davis signs, which included pole banners and placard stake signs, $1,152.46, which the total comes to 16550 excuse me, $16,551.42 as of May 22nd, 2023. There is a note that balance remaining, any remaining balance remaining will return to the town of Tiburon if not used exclusively for the Thomas Jackson project. The staff recommendation is as follows. Staff recommends that the Heritage and Arts Commission consider approval of the video project proposal, Thomas Jackson, at a cost of $3,300. Um. There are. Are there any more expenses since 522? There are not. Not even with all the new banner, banners and posters? Pole banner, the posters got printed at no charge by the ranch. So there were no actual charges on those, which was great. And we printed the posters by the ranch too. Okay. It would be nice to see if there is anything else we can do so the money doesn't get fully returned. So I have some ideas and thoughts about that. Yes, I think that would be good. Uh, um, if we we'll just split it up, uh, the video proposal, the total cost from uh, filmmaker <clears throat> Deva Wissanant is for $3,300 for the video, which is an incredible deal because a six day shoot would normally cost upwards of you know nine thousand ten thousand dollars so uh, I spoke with Deva several times to kind of nail this proposal down and uh, if we take that three thousand three hundred from the uh, remaining four thousand five hundred and eighty one dollars that still leaves us with around $1,200, $1,281. And um, for that amount of money, I think, um, you know, the plan, I know we haven't gotten there yet, but the plan to take the installation down will require, again, uh, some of the Bay Area volunteers who helped Thomas put it up in the first place. Mm -hmm. And I think some of that money should go to providing them with water, coffee, refreshments, and such while they're here. Um, I think uh, Thomas is coming down to help take it down, of course. And I'm hoping that from that remaining $1,200, we can pay for the volunteers, help him with his uh, travel costs. I think he'll probably call uh, Gary at the lodge and sort out accommodation there as well. But if there's something left over, I feel the artist should uh, get some uh, reimbursement for that as well. So I don't see any problem with spending the rest of the $4,584.64. Um, and I think they're all project-related costs, and my suggestion is that we approve those uh, costs <coughs> and expenditures. I had a little suggestion as well. Um, we had donors over $2,000, I think, that we promised them um, a photo of uh, the artist's photo and I believe they will be coming rolled up without a frame. Maybe we could use some of that money to frame them. All it takes is a you know, simple framing for uh, uh, photographs. So that was another idea that I thought maybe we can use for that because um, those donors were really great people, 
and they did donate that full-heartedly for the project. And uh, in that um, little gathering that we had to thank them, they were so nice to Thomas Jackson and they were so pleased with uh, what he had done for town of Tibra. So that is another thing that maybe you would like to think about. Victoria. Um, I like that idea. I like a finished product, product if I'm giving a gift. Uh, just like when you go to fancy dinners, they give you a Tiffany box and it's boxed <laughs> nicely. So I, I don't know how much it is to, well, we only have four big donors. So I don't think that's going to be too expensive. And I absolutely agree with Vice Chair Gupta that any of this extra money should really go to the volunteers and the artists if we could help it. And in fact, if we have extra money from our general fund, I'm happy to use that to feed or, you know, give some water to, <laughs> you know, special water or some donuts uh, to the uh, people who are helping to de-install this wonderful project. I've been there and people are just so happy and they want it more. In fact, people wanted to buy those uh, puffs, and I said, well, maybe <laughs> maybe we can make money. <laughs> that too. They really would like to take a puff <laughs> home, but um, anyway, um, I'm, uh, I think it's money well earned by, led by Arjun, and um, artists did a lot of work, and I have no problem with spending it. I do like the idea of framing and giving a nice wrap present. Yes. The 1200 <clears throat> that's left over. If you, if you, if that's you, good. Yeah, if you allocate 400 for travel, that leaves 800. $100 for refreshments, that leaves 700. You can easily frame, I think, four works in a simple frame for a Yeah, the simple or black simple or frames. You know, yes. Whatever. Just I have a framer who would be very good. Mm -hmm. okay. um, because photographs take simple frames. They're not, nothing drastically fancy. And, and what expensive. about you mentioned about the lodging? I wasn't clear on that. The, the, the lodging. The lodging. Um, you don't I, have to pay. I mean, he yeah. hasn't asked for he hasn't it. A, I mean, I th he did ask me for help with his airfare to come back, but he hasn't said anything about the lodging, and I'm sure he would be able to cover the lodging himself. Then I think the money is well spent. And it, uh, in fact, I would um, put the priority for his plane fare mm -hmm. over the re refreshments for the volunteers, because I think we have from general fund, we could certainly sure. cover that part. <laughs> Um, now we have. Where is Patty? He's out and about. <laughs> we need to consider the um, approval of the video. I, I, I hope so. Has everybody seen the video proposal, Exhibit One? It would be good. Could we ask question about the proposal? This sure. is the lady that was at the breakfast. She yes. was really good. Um, I think it's really reasonable. My question is um, regards, I'm not high tech, so um, is a digital? Yeah, it'll be an MP4 file that we can that use. That you could download. Mm -hmm. What about for the public? I'm thinking, is there a copy at the library where people can also check it out or download it? <laughs> I don't know if it's sharing a password or? I think. I think that if we put it up on the website, the public can access it on the website. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. Whether that's it's the up accessibility on the we're looking and, for. And the town's website is able to accept this high, high res <laughs> for a number of minutes? It should be. I mean, it's two to four minutes. Okay. And, and the worst case scenario is that we can also always put it up on a YouTube channel with a link from the town's website if they don't. That's what I wanted to know. Yeah. Thank you. Patty? So I know that when there was another moving program, and I don't recall what it was, that 
we wanted to put up. There were, there were limitations to the type, but as the, the documentary maker, she can probably mm -hmm. change the type to match up, or worst case scenario, like you said, a link to YouTube. Mm -hmm. Well, he says that the final has got to be approved. Yeah, and we get final. several changes. Yes. That's so yes. that's really a good, good contract. Yeah. You should notice in the contract, though, in case you want to have extra money left over, that any changes are at $100 an hour after, or 150 I don't recall. So if you want to have, keep some of your budget for that, you might want to. Yeah, I mean, my, my hope is that uh, working with Deva you know, she's a professional, and as long as uh, our needs as the Heritage and Arts Commission and the town are met in terms of publicity and promotional purposes, I think um, she's going to do a great job. So it's not a big movie. It's a four-minute max clip. It'll be informative. Yeah. And it can... But you're right. Leaving some... Mm -hmm. Money on the table is probably a good idea in case there's uh, some some last minute changes that need to be made. Well, I believe you wanted to start on it pretty pretty quickly, yeah. so you would know that even before you probably had to expend the other things on frames and so on and so forth. Right. The and there's no is, deadline for s expending the TJ special fund. Okay. okay. Um, uh, oh, the only other caveat is, but Arjun said that we can certainly work with in terms of this person would need to agree on our requirements with our attorneys and so on in terms of ownership and so on, but it looks really straightforward as Arjun pointed out about the way she grants the use in perpetuity, et cetera, et cetera. So it's just sort of if you vote tonight, tonight it's, it's subject on final review, I guess I would say it that way. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Put a motion out there for. Then somebody has got to put the promotion. I move that we accept the proposal for the video. Um, currently, let's see, the contract said it's at 3300 Is that correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. And the terms as proposed. To amend the motion with the caveat that that's um, only if approved by, by the town. council. For the town, the attorney for the town. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Has to approve. As maker of the motion, I would accept that amendment. I second. Okay. Roll call vote. Chair Etamad. Yes. Vice Chair Gupta. Yes. Commissioner Fong. Yes. Commissioner Noguez. Yes. Commissioner Hall. Yes. Thank you. All in favor. And like, I would like to suggest, um, since we have a, uh, I'm sorry, public comment on this item. No, I don't. I, I would. And I should have done public comment sorry. first. That's okay. It's appropriate. I would like to see you move our agenda item. That, that's what I was just going to suggest. I, I just now printed out um, sets for everyone of, of uh, Judith was found out a way to actually save the attachment so it could be printed. So it's all printed. I'm going to run and get it for you. I think it has a switch. <clears throat> Gotten to that yet? No, we're going to take it out of order. Oh, you just asked for that. Okay, then number four for Patty. is the one. Okay. No, Patty's printed them out. I think she emailed them earlier or a presentation, a link. You have to talk to the microphone, please. Okay. You can hear me. Should we wait for? Uh, we should wait we for should Patty. Wait. Yeah. Yes. She's printing them out. Oh. Patty's printing them. No. Oh. Like yours. 
Has everybody looked at the videos of uh, this pianist? Oh, uh, it's fantastic. I actually, there were a couple of people in, uh, in the park and uh, with my daughter, I said we we're considering maybe having a, a music in the park. And this person turned around and said, oh my God, it must be the same pianist. It's in there. So I had a live person that who had been to the San Francisco, San Francisco Botanical Garden yeah. concert, and she said it was absolutely fantastic. Mm. Did we read the action item yet? No. Okay, so, so we, do we need, to, we don't need a motion to take it out of order, does the chair need to make the request? We're just out of order, I don't believe so, no. Okay. We, yeah, we, we did the action on number one. Right. Right, but that went through. Action item number four will now become action item number two. Correct. If you'd like to read that. Okay. Um, action item number four, now item number two, receive and consider approval of a proposal by Public Art Selection Panel Chair Judith Ward for a musical event, i.e. Hunter Novak, pianist at one of the public parks. Is this carried? Number four. Okay, so just to give you a quick background, um, last summer I was up in Ashland, Oregon and um, for the Shakespeare Festival and was invited to attend a concert in the public park there. I um, forget the name of the park, but... Lithia um, Park. Lithia Park. Um, and a friend of mine who is from Oregon had seen Hunter Nowak uh, play up there various times and highly recommended attending. Um, it was amazing, it was 100 degrees, but um, basically um, I wanted to see it again. So I went this summer, or this May, um, to San Francisco Botanical Gardens, um, and I had met him last summer and talked to him, and I talked to his mother, and it never really occurred to me that this would be the place to do it. But when I saw the Thomas Jackson exhibit, it, I was like, wait a minute, this is like, Amazing. So I, I actually talked to him after the performance and his mother, who's his manager, uh, and said, you guys should come over here and look at this exhibit and look at it as a possible site because I think it would be perfect. Um, so they took me up on it and came over to Tiburon the next day before they headed up to Napa for another performance. And they were very excited about the possibility. Um, so... Um, I talked to Jolly and Victoria and Arjun and said, you know, we really should think about this um, because they're in the planning stages for next year. They're coming to the Bay Area. They've been coming here for several years. They've played at Chrissy Field, at um, the Botanical Gardens almost every year, down in uh, um, the South Bay as well, and up in Napa. So there are other people talking to them. Uh, the mountain, mount someone in the mountain play world up there. Um, Someone from the Martha Trust has approached them. I'm not sure if that's going to happen anytime soon. But I think it's a good window of opportunity for us to do this. Um, so um, I don't want to run through all of this. You can look at it at your leisure. But basically, um, Hunter Noah created this concept several years ago of producing outdoor concerts to bring music to places that normally wouldn't... Um, have music, you know, national parks and state parks, public parks, and to provide it to a diverse audience of people who may not have normally attended a classical music event. Um, he does it in an immersive way by providing headphones to the audience. Um, so you usually acoustics are difficult outside, but everyone has basically, it's like kind of like a silent disco. <laughs> but you, he encourages you to, to explore the nature around you. And he'll even say when he's, uh, this piece 
it will remind you of water. You should go walk along the creek for this or walk along the bay. Um, I, at the botanical gardens, he encouraged us to climb up into the, you know, the, the trails. And so it's just amazing because you can go quite a distance from the performance itself and still be immersed in the music that he's playing. He also encourages people to be as close as possible to the piano and even sit under the piano. And my daughter and I, who's 18, actually enjoyed being under the piano. Um, and I did it last summer too. So you don't have to do it, but it's super cool because you can take your headphones off and just have this like vibration. And um, it's really, I mean, who, who gets to do that? It's really cool. Um, so he, their mission is to connect nature and an appreciation for classical music in unusual spaces that are accessible to all. They like it to be a sort of, there's sort of to be a wow factor, which we definitely have here. Um, they also like to bring it to people who maybe couldn't uh, normally see such performances otherwise. So they, this is a nonprofit. Um, they're not, um, the, the ticket price, so they do charge ticket prices for the headphones. It's $40 typically, uh, but they allocate a certain percentage of those for people who we would we could choose what group we want to target, but you know people who might not be able to afford that. No one is turned away. Um, sometimes they have extra headphones and they just hand them out to people who show up. Um, anyone who wants to come can come. It's not like a it's not a private place. So um, you still will experience the music. You can get next to the piano. So it's not like the t the tickets are obviously to fund the the actual performance, but um, it doesn't cover all of their costs, and they are they are receiving quite a lot of grants um, as well. Um, so if I can get to my points, which I think are on page, well, first on page 11, I don't know if you can see page numbers, there's a, a diagram of what makes a perfect concert site. Um, and they kind of evaluated the, the South Knoll in particular as a potential spot, and it basically meets all of the criteria they look for. It has, you know, bathrooms and, and um, a, a wow factor in terms of a view. It has parking nearby. It has paths. It has a, a fire road. So it's a fairly, and, and especially if you're wearing headphones, you don't have to be on the grass, you can be sitting, you can be on the path, you can be in the playground, you know, the children, children could play and listen. So you, there's a lot, it's not so restrictive as a typical concert because you're able to move about. I have two questions. Yep. If I may. Sure. First of all, where do you pay your money and get your earphones. So they have a table set up, and does they, the table is next to him? No, the table would be probably. Be? They, they would select a site, and we could probably influence that. But I would say somewhere probably on the edge of the path, um, okay. where people would turn in their ticket for headphones. Um, okay. It depends. You know, I, I've attended it. The gardens, the botanical gardens, is more of a private venue, so they actually checked them at the gate. Although I don't know if they, I think anyone who was in the botanical gardens could have, could have attended, so. My, my second question, sorry. My second question is, how far can you get from the music and you can still You know, I can't remember, but I, I hiked, do you know the botanical gardens? <laughs> I hiked up onto that hill overlooking the, the grassy area I mean, I, I've never run out of bandwidth, and when I was in Lithia Park, I walked all along the creek. Um, so I think it's, I want to say it's like 200 That's what yards. I remember, too, from the videos yeah, that I you think, touched. I think it's, Did they yeah. give it 200? Yeah. Well, I was thinking, okay, if it is in the same place that TJ's um, installation is in that hill, will the people in uh, Strawberry Spit walk, walk away? Can they hear it? That with is he with kind headphones? of too far away. <clears throat> well, first of all, the people who don't have headphones, you'd have to you have to be fairly close yeah. in, in to hear, which okay. is which is possible. 
Um, but it is a good idea to know the distance. Yeah. I mean, people aren't going to want to go too when far. When you're choosing because, the spot. Because when I've gone, people like to, people bring picnics. They, you know, they might spend a bit of time just laying down on a blanket listening. And then he'll, yeah. at certain points, he tries to encourage people to walk around and um, he'll identify things to look at and things. So it's really personal. My son just laid on the blanket the whole time. But, you know... Go ahead, Victoria. Um, how many headphones? A little I, louder and a uh, microphone, please. How many headphones? I believe they have 200. That's great. Um, uh, what kind of classical music? I mean, it's going to be audience pleasing for Oh, yeah, the, it's a lot of not, impressionist music, actually, okay, like Debussy. Perfect. Um, he does some. I have his CD, actually. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's on Apple Music or, or Spotify. Oh, I just wonder. I don't want anything ultra modern. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, he does have a, a really amazing Turkish piece, a Turkish composer uh -huh. that I love that he's played at both concerts. Um, he has a... I didn't bring it with me, but I have a list of his current repertoire that he's been playing. Oh, that's okay. And yeah. it hasn't changed a whole lot year over year. I think he... Tr and he well, doesn't play everything. It depends on the... Yeah, he seems to know his audience, yeah. and, which is really good. And I just thought some of the ideas when you said to kind of visualize and go into um, the water. Yeah. We, we might be able to work with the library and get some VR... <laughs> Oh. <laughs> to actually see something else. But anyway, just a side. I like the idea tremendously because I think it's ex experience and once again is our theme of interaction with the environment. Yeah. So thank you. So uh, in terms of Tiburon, um, the dates, they're planning to be in the Bay Area next year. This is on page 13. Um, They've been coming in late May. He said there's a possibility they may loop back and come later next year, but I think we would want to target late May. I'm guessing they'll go back to the botanical gardens, um, although they're starting to get so many venues that they might start alternating years. Um, they've been playing down in Woodside as well. Um, as I said, they, they should know, she said in a month or two, more. Specifically, I'm sure they're giving priority to some of their current venues, but we would prob I'm guessing it would be around the same time frame. Um, as I mentioned, South Knoll, I think, is ideal, and they really liked it, but if that? we want to like sure. talk about other venues, we could, but I didn't, they didn't have time, and I didn't take them anywhere else. Um, in terms of cost, um, they do need some kind of local sponsorship because they're not covering their costs fully with the ticket sales. Um, and we would need to kind of figure out where we want to get that funding. You know, if it's something that the town is willing to do, something we need to go to, you know, merchants in town or um, other nonprofit organizations. We could also fund it even more and make more tickets available for free. Um, so that's something, but I think this is sort of a minimum that they want us to secure to make a commitment to come here. Mm -hmm. So, question. Yeah. So when you say minimum, we're talking about the six thousand. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's what they would like us to secure okay. in terms of sponsorship to make a commitment here. And then one thought that I had, which um, I saw from the tapes that you attached, um, was the fact that in some instances they will highlight local talent. Mm -hmm. Um, in one case, I know it was a young woman that had won some contest. I think if there's a way to wrap something like that into this, it might be a lot easier to get, you know, grants from certain people mm -hmm. who would like the idea to showcase local talent, especially young up-and-coming, you know, artists or completely unknown artists. Yeah, and he does encourage young people to come up after the concert and play the piano, and he's very engaged. Um, they do a lot of school outreach as well, and they're willing to work with us on possible <clears throat> other things while they're here. I mean, they're right across from <clears throat> Del Mar. So, I mean, that... So <clears throat> I think that's something we can explore. Um... In terms of ticket sales, they do everything. They have a, they use Eventbrite, um, and they would allocate a certain percentage for us to to give out to the community. Um, they also do their own promotion. So, and there's a lot of 
<clears throat> you know, we wouldn't really have to advertise. I mean, we could put a sign up, but it would be pretty well um, advertised in the media and their website. Um, and typically, their concerts do sell out. Um, and a lot of them, actually, they did two days in the botanical gardens, so it wasn't sold out. But I think because they'd sold out previously, they added another. Mm -hmm. Judith, is there a way, do you think, that we could prioritize <clears throat> ticket sales for Tiburon residents first before going out to the larger Bay Area? Because I'd hate to see <laughs> folks missing out who live here right. because there's a flood of people from you know, San Francisco or the East Bay or something like that. Yeah, I can ask them about that. Okay. I mean, obviously, they want to sell tickets. And if we sell them all locally, that's mm -hmm. good. But... Um, we could, they also said if we thought we had the, en enough demand, we could do two days like they do in the city. Mm. Um, the only issue there is they would have to get someone to guard the piano overnight. The <laughs> <laughs> they Got literally it. hire someone to sleep with the piano. <laughs> we're, Underneath it. Underneath we're, we're practically there all the time anyways right now. All the time. <laughs> with, with the repair work that we have to do. So. Oh, yeah. It's okay. I mean, originally, I thought this would be really cool to do with an art installation. Yeah. alongside it, um, although that one, Thomas Jackson takes a lot of the space, yeah, I think, yeah. but um, it would be interesting to try to even do something alongside this event to promote public art as well, so. Um, well, if he gives us timing <laughs> for next year, we, we have time <laughs> to look into something. Yeah, if With nothing else, to promote something else, the, so. the mural and, and other things that are there yeah. already. So yeah, yeah. The location right now is a question. So lo location yeah. has got to be accessible if possible. Well, um, I was in a meeting with Post, mm -hmm. and then um, I think Nora and yeah. we, we talked about maybe having some cart in Blackie's entrance to bring the handicapped or the people who cannot walk. Mm -hmm. Just fill them up and bring them to the event and bring them back again. It's just one day, especially this project would be only one day. So it might work out in that. Yeah. So. Probably use a local Boy Scouts, you know. Yeah, but well, there's a lot of people yeah, with golf carts post around people here. Or <laughs> youth groups. They were quite, um, mm -hmm. they were hearing us. They were trying to to think about it. So what would Actually, be? Actually, you, you, you do have to, uh, I just wanted to jump in here because accessibility was going to be something I said that we needed to talk about. So you can't just have volunteers with people with ADA. They have to be licensed. Um, cart drivers with the proper ADA carts. Mm -hmm. So, and that can be done, but just for raising, because it would be an expense that you would want to get pricing on and build it in, into your whole uh, fundraising program. I was also wondering if we might be able to reserve some parking closer near Del Mar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So sure. they would just have to cross there and go down the path. The other uh, discussion parking. item before, just so, you incorporated in your talking is, uh, I briefly mentioned it to um, the town manager, the idea of ticket sales. So it would be the first time that H&A that Commission ha have ever undertaken something where you were selling access to a project. Um, it's kind of been the mission to be free and open to all with the same experience. So it's not to say that there couldn't be a way it's just that that's something that's part of the conversation of raising money and how many could you cover and how well, could bit, that possibly work. A bit like St. Hillary concerts, I suppose. But we could also make a fundraising element of it, you know, to, to support. Does St. Hillary charge th the good prizes? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're a private nonprofit. That it, it, it's really different with a town like the library and everything, where you're really open to the public at no charge. And it's, like I said, there certainly could be a way to do it, but it would be the first time that you'd ever done it. So that's a big discussion to have. So you know going in. Is there, Judith, is there, uh, my understanding from your presentation was that the charge is for the head, headsets, really, but somebody could just walk down the bike path and hang out there and listen to the piano without the headsets too, right? Right. 
So I guess uh, there's like 200 headsets is kind of what their, that's their sort of minimum requirement kind of? Well, that's what they're aiming for. When we attended mm -hmm. the Botanical Garden performance, it wasn't sold out that second day. And she told me, I asked Lori, I said, you know, it seems like people can just show up, right, without paying. And she said, well, that's fine. We just, if we have extras, we hand them out. And we try to encourage people to participate. So. Sure. So I, uh, technically it's a free concert, right. really. Right. But, but it is to get the full experience, you need to have You want the head, headphones. So. But, but, but from what I understand, again, from the materials that you touch, but the whole purpose of the headset is to be able to get the same sort of quality of experience and sound that you would get in an orchestra right. hall. So you can still listen to it and still hear it and sit under it and feel the vibrations, right. but you don't get the full experience without right. the headset. Right. In fact, he does have a couple pieces where there's an orchestral oh. back, you know, kind of karaoke Track. thing going on. <laughs> have the background. He's playing with the um, orchestral thing, so it's really cool. But by the same token, I went to music camp, and it was all outdoors, and that is part of the beauty of music, to mix the outdoor sounds with it. But of course, on a bike path, you're gonna get a lot of, you know, different kind of well, sounds, right. you know. Well, then I was and, thinking, yeah. Yeah. Is there, a, is there a security element that we need to think about here for this? I mean, do they ever have, is there like, I mean, I don't, it's a, it's a you know, Sati and Debussy, I don't see it. <laughs> well, it's funny you say that, because when we went in San Francisco, my son isn't really into the city that much, and uh -huh. he's like, oh, it's not safe in Golden Gate Park. And I'm like, it's a concert. In a, you know, I mean, it's a really mellow crowd. <laughs> so I don't think there's much, I mean, the only security is if, you know, if he has to leave his piano unattended. But, right. Um, but what I was gonna say also about the, um, the cost, if we wanted to make it a free event, we could get more sponsorship. You know, we could reach mm -hmm. out to, you know, the community. To, to pay for and all of the... We want this to be a free event. This is what it's going to cost. To pay for the head, head, headset. Yeah, so maybe yeah. that's, what is that, $8,000? To, to have someone underwrite it, sort of like Stern Grove is free concert. Right, so, so it's like the concerts in the park in Belvedere. I mean, they all cost money to produce. So, yeah, right. and there's um, a foundation. So if we got enough sponsors, we could offer more free tickets. Mm-hmm. Um, mm -hmm. And make the make it a optional donation you know, to benefit a local charity. So we we mm. just need to, I think we need to think about how we want it to be because I think they do a lot of different approaches. Some of their concerts are totally free because mm. they're totally funded by nonprofit organizations, especially in the public or the national parks. Um, sometimes they're fundraisers at you know, or corporate events even. So mm -hmm. I think we have to think of how we'd want to structure it for us. And how soon do they need this sort of commitment for May? Uh, it sounds like probably at the end of the summer they're going to be starting to lock in dates. Okay. Um, you know, they it, it's a process. I think it takes time. But if we want a certain date or want to fit into their schedule. Um, but I think we should give them some initial you know, indication of our interest, so. Well, I, I think it's a great idea, and I'm ready to, I am too. you know, ap approve it at this meeting, um, and then let's see, if, you know, at least initial approval, and then see as we develop the pro project a little bit further what kinds of fundraising and partnerships we can, you know, bring in. I know that from the um, donor event at Thomas Jackson. I spoke to people at the Tiburon Peninsula Foundation and they were very excited about what we're doing this year also mm -hmm. and they wanted to be a part of that as well. So I know that they would be, I'm sure, uh, interested in, in, in helping support, you know, the Hunter Nowak mm -hmm. performance. I think for me, one of the threshold issues, and I think the idea Could is wonderful. You speak I, into I said, I think it's a wonderful idea. I remember seeing a picture of a pianist sitting on a, an ice floe in somewhere in you know Sweden or something playing a piano, and I thought, how do you get there? But anyway, um, so I think it's a wonderful idea. I do love the idea of getting you know other organizations involved. I mean, even as much as in, in as much as we can get talented young people to participate. But the threshold issue, and I, I, we've got to approve it, is to find out how we're going to deal with the issue that Patty raised, which is this will be a 
you know, there will be a fee. Mm -hmm. um, and so if there's a way to maybe separate the fact that if, if he's going to do his, his, if he's going to provide headsets, maybe that's up to him and we don't have anything to deal with, to do with that. That's up to him. Mm -hmm. But we make it a free event for others by underwriting the cost, his cost. Mm -hmm. That may be one way to deal with it. I don't know, but yeah. we need to talk to the town attorney to find out how to structure this. Oh, we can do that. But we could move ahead with wanting to do this yes. pending, again, yeah. the a, town. Yes. Yeah. Right. So would you like to move ahead? I, I, I would say that we would give conditional approval, that condition being discussions with the town manager and the town attorney to figure out exactly how we would be able to stage this, given the fact that there's a component that requires payment um, for the headsets and also how to pay the artist himself with the fact that they're asking for a $6,000 sponsorship Second. to secure the commitment. Second. Roll call, please. She's writing. Yes. Vice Chair Gupta? Yes. Commissioner Fong? Yes. Commissioner Hall? Yes. Commissioner Noguez? Yes. Thank you. All in favor. Okay, and I, I can follow up with them too and maybe get some ideas from other organizations they've worked with on how mm. they've done this. Um, That's so. a very good idea. So I'm sure there's many different approaches right. to it. So. Can, Judith, can we consider this as like sort of your pre preliminary proposal? And then maybe as you get more details, you can add to it. And sure. That'd be great. And just, is there someone on this committee who will be leading this? Or should, like, who's the point person? Well, it is coming from PASP. Yeah. Can you do it between you guys and then bring it to yeah. us? And we need to have a meeting. Yeah. PASP <laughs> needs to do <laughs> this. It would okay. be really helpful. OK. But we're so, here to. Yeah, it's just there's some aspects Absolutely. of it, as you mentioned, with All the town the way management. Be here. So you'll handle the sort of. Um, yeah, I think I think uh, we maybe legal and financial discussions. Yeah, I think the main issue. Nora Nora articulated the main issue really well, as did Patty. So I think we can certainly take it upon ourselves to take this proposal and flesh it out. Flesh it out with some of the. Uh, and then you'll get back to issues. us. Sure. I mean, it, it just seems like this has been done so many times that there's not much to do. There isn't much to do. Once yeah. we, it's really. It's like turnkey. It is right. turnkey. Exactly. So. And we have the place. Yeah. And she said that's <laughs> something everyone they work with is surprised about how easy it is, really, right. once you kind of right. get it. Yeah. <laughs> and as you said, I mean, if you look at the criteria for their site selection, it's you know, great. it's on all four. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And they're Great. even willing to move their own piano. That's right. Public Works does not need to no, they don't move, need a piano. To move the piano. Thank you, Judith. Thank you very Thank you, much. Judith. Thank you. It's a fabulous oh, uh, idea. We voted without public comment. Oh. <laughs> no comment. No co public comment. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. That's cool, yeah. cool. Okay, going. Uh, oh, go ahead. I'm adding so one little. To go um, to number two. And one little well, thought Patty, about Patty it. Patty is speaking. Uh, oh. I, I should have said it earlier, but it just occurred to me. So Thomas Jackson was in that location for many days, allowing different kinds of weather. This is a one-off, so it might be smart to think about other locations because, boy, it could be windy and foggy and it would make it in wet even in May, for instance. So closer in places, you might want to consider mm. as you're and thinking month, about it. And the month of September, I think, probably would be the best month. Well, but I uh, never know. But maybe do it on the non-water side. Up in South Yeah. Having that little area might be helpful. But we are okay with the weather. So we'll be going back Patty to item number two. and I, we talked about... Number two. <clears throat> Uh, or do you want to go through line. item number three and then go to four? Since we replaced. Uh, 
two if uh, we no we should do item number two okay. now uh, go back to item original item number okay. two um, okay. because it will involve money and then we can go on okay. to the budget okay um, then item number two former number item number two. two receive update on Portuguese dairy mural ribbon cutting ceremony and consider approval of funds for ribbon cutting ceremony advertising and artist reception Review and consider approval of plan for Joao de Brito artist reception and timeline. Attached to that is the staff report, which says, background, the Portuguese dairy mural ribbon cutting ceremony took place on June 9th, 2023, with dignitaries from the Azor Islands present, as well as Tiburon Town Council, the Heritage and Arts Commission members and public. A gallery showing of the artist's work is being installed for the month of July as previously approved. The tentative date to hang the artwork is Monday, July 10th. A reception for the artist, which will include two lectures, is proposed for Friday the 14th from 4.30 to 6. A banner, Exhibit 1, is proposed for two weeks, July 3rd and 10th, to advertise the reception. An invitation, Exhibit 2, has been created. The policy and procedures, Exhibit 3, and artist waiver, Exhibit 4, have been provided to the artist. The artist is asking for consideration of a reduction in the commission normally applied to gallery artists showing at the town hall. Financial analysis. Expenditures to date, ribbon cutting ceremony supplies and programs to be paid out of fiscal year 22-23 as approved, $152.74. There weren't no travel expenditures. Um, the banner to be paid out of fiscal year 22-23 as approved, $200. Beverages, $250 to be paid out of fiscal year 2022-23 as approved. And the reception catering to be paid out of fiscal year 23-24 budget to be announced or determined. Staff recommends, one, consider approval of banner and invitation for artist reception. Number two, consider approval of art installation and reception dates. Three, consider approval of catering cost out of fiscal year 23-24 budget. And four, consider approval of a reduction in the commission to the artist, João de Brito, for artwork sold during the town hall exhibition. Clarification. Um, when you said two lectures between 4.30 and 6? Yes. How long are these lectures? It's only an 15 hour 15 minutes. Oh, it's just kind of artist talk versus, okay. Right. It would be a, a talk by the artist and a talk by Mike Moyle, who is the um, historian and expert on the migration of the Azorian immigrants to Marin County. Do we need all this history behind it? We already know two, three people talked on the ribbon cutting. Even Dave Gotts had photos and yes. he really talked. So who is going to be the audience? Who are you uh, inviting? Uh, all of the public? All of the funders, all of the public, and all of the uh, Portuguese people because for one and a half hours that we have it is it's supposed to be an art reception artist reception yes the way that you're explaining it is not an artist reception it's like you're asking for uh, bringing food and all that it making it like a party what well, but it is it is that's what we wanted, a simple artist reception. With as food. As we always do. Exactly, with food and drink, as we always do. As you did for Thomas Jackson. For Thomas Jackson, we did not do anything like that. Thomas Jackson, that we got all that partying, it was fundraising for him. We did it a large for reception for fun. Yeah, that was fundraising. They were all mm -hmm. for fundraising. That is, makes a difference. Well, let me just say this. Every time that we, as the Heritage and Arts Commission, have hosted something that is something we're presenting as opposed to a public member who is coming to us to ask that they use our space 
to exhibit their artwork. This is not that. This is a project. It was the very first public art you know, work that was approved and brought to the town, which generated not only local support, but international support, and essentially put us on the map with regard to what heritage and arts could do in the way of the public art uh, program. And but for the success of that, I don't think it would have been as easy to launch the Thomas Jackson proposal. Because there were funders that were ready to fund because of the fact that we had established what we could do and how well it was received by the community. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. Arjun, you, you no, I was just going to ask. Uh, so really, the, the, the sticking point right now, as I understand it, is the reception costs for food and wine. Is that right? Uh, well, no. It the, would be the, the, yeah. the first <laughs> exception or, or problem is that Jale does not want to have anyone speak about history. Is that right? I don't think it is an occasion that you need to have catering done. Oh. Um, we, for even for our um, fundraising, we didn't cater it upstairs. In this, yeah. I think I, I somewhat agree with um, Jali in the sense that if this is an artist's reception, we're not talking about what he did for that, um, the mural. We are showing his own art which did not come through us. I mean, I know he's a noted artist. I'm just following the rules and being fair to everyone. And actually, my question is, why is the banner $200? Usually, it's around 70 for, um, for the music. I, I'm just not clear on it. And um, if it's an artist's reception, the rules are that the artists provide the food and also do the publicity. And, we're in censure taking that on. And at what point do we make a decision which artists we're going to do what? So I, I just want to make sure that I don't want to have to answer to the next artist that, well, I'm just as famous, but why didn't I get this and that? But anyway, the policy here said the artist is supposed to provide the food if it's an artist reception showing your art. Well, co so. correct me if I'm wrong, but at the last meeting of this commission, we specifically approved the reception. Right. Well, yeah, we reception, artist reception, we did. With of food. Reception. And cost. It has to and be cost. to be paid out of the 23-24 budget. The talk, budget. you right. know, you can ask any artist who's showing any place in any gallery, would you like to talk about your art? And they do it. It is not something extra. No one's paying these so lecturers, are we they? we haven't even is, seen is his Is anyone work. paying the lecturers? I'm sure it's beautiful. Are the lecturers being paid? I miss this. No. We're not paying no the lecturers. No one's being paid. No one's being paid for anything. No one's being paid. Nobody's Reception paying for his airfare. Improved. Nobody's paying for his people to come and eat donuts. Nobody's doing any of that. This is a reception that we approved at the last meeting with the understanding that the money, if it is not spent, will disappear and well, vanish. You know and no, but this is out of 23, 24 yeah, that's budget. Right. That's different. That's different. The, well, uh, it's also different. I don't really like to see the uh, comparison between the Tom's checks and we raise money for that. This is separate. It's, we didn't do any of the fundraising. And we were donors as well. You know, Heritage and Arts paid $5,000 as a donation well, let's towards this. So. I just would let's like just to follow the policy if it's going to be artist reception. We do the same thing. I remember the discussion in the last meeting was that uh, it was for the, uh, I believe, the, the the money that is not spent on, you know, by August, is it? No, no, no. It's already at the end of this it's month. The end so of this someone month. needs to go out and buy wine. It was going right. to be for the exactly. beverages. If and where is there. that on this, on this uh, sheet? Uh, the second page has the banner and then the beverages. Right, right. But I'm saying how much money is in that fund that, that, will, be, that will not roll over? Uh, if 
when we get to the, when you take all of the expenditures, uh, expenditures out, if you decide to buy enough wine to cover the year and have on hand at $250, then uh, there would be another $314 left, but it was decided that the reception would not be paid out of that. Oh, okay. Uh, that was what was approved last time. It was going to be paid out of, out of this, yeah out of the 2324 budget because it is happening after June 30. You cannot invoice it before June 30. That is the rule. It has to be invoiced. That's why the wine needs to be bought before June 30 for next year. Was this budget ever reconciled? I thought we found a mistake of uh, $13 between the actual town budget Which and one? this budget. And this budget. I think we you forgot to expend, put on the expense uh, $13, whatever. That was on the town's budget, so okay, I don't so see we're probably thirteen dollars difference. So it's three hundred dollars, fine, I believe. Right? Okay. I don't think we'd be spending that much. So we could also discuss how we want to use the additional three hundred dollars. Well, if you oh, or have, <clears throat> what? How do you want to? Structure if this. you want to jump over to the, uh, I think that you better. No, we're going to stay with that. that. You need to stay with the Portuguese dairy and keep uh, parsing out whether or not uh, a reception. The reception was already approved, so now I guess it's going to come down to the cost. <clears throat> I didn't hear the cost because I was out of the room, finding out about painting upstairs. I, I mean, I guess it really you, concerns me that we have a meeting where we all approve it and now it's like I feel like the rug is being pulled out from underneath. We specifically realize the fact that the money, if, excuse me, please don't interrupt me. No, it, please do not interrupt, don't interrupt, she is interrupt. speaking. I'm speaking, this is being recorded. And this will be part of the town record. So I want to be really clear. The fact is that, that is at, clear. The, the fact is that we approved a reception because we even said that Thomas Jackson would exhibit his art in June and Joao de Brito would exhibit his art in July and that if we did not spend the money, the money was going to go away. Just, it, you might as well just throw it in the garbage because it's gone. So, so the catering costs would be? The catering costs, we could not do that out of that money because the, the expense had to be What's the term? Paid. It has to be expended, invoiced, by June paid 30th. for by June right. 30th. Expended and invoiced. Well, so we no, can do that with a wine. Right. And then whatever's left over can be used for subsequent receptions. Right, right. But the catering could not be done out of that. That's why we were going to do it out of the 23-24 budget. What do we envision for catering costs for such a reception? Do you think? A, a couple of platters, just like we always do. Okay. Charcuterie, some, you know, crudites, right. that kind of thing. Kind of like the so, Jackson fundraiser event. Right. Sim similar, have a table with some right. platters and things. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, a nugget has, does I, 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 That I, total was approximately, I'm trying to get my small print here. Three, that's I mean, I a little think, over $400. I think, I think, I mean, I think, uh, you know, a lot of good points were made here by Nora. Jolly, and by Victoria, I think my, 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 I guess my only concern is if we're going to, you know, and I, and I agree that we did, we did say we were going to pay for the, mm. you know, some of these costs, certainly. Um, is there a way then to dis differentiate this from a regular artist's reception so that we can then not set a precedent where we have to pay for artists' receptions out of our pocket, and that's that. That is my only concern: is to not set that precedent. Right. Yeah, the, the whole idea is the fact that the Portuguese Dairy Mural Project was the first project that this commission approved mm -hmm. as the first example of public art. Mm -hmm. It was our project, and and I don't know how many times people had to, wanted me to emphasize it's our project, it's heritage and arts. There isn't enough recognition. This is our project, it's heritage and arts. So this is a recognition of the fact that that project is heritage and arts, and we're doing a reception to show the work of the artist 
who did the artistry that became the Portuguese Dairy Mural. I disagree that it is somehow, you know, superfluous to have the town, well, no, he's not the town historian, but a historian whose expertise is on the immigration of Azorian immigrants who came to this particular place to escape you know, their own conditions in their own country looking for a better life. And this is a time where there's a lot of divisiveness, not only in this country, but around the world. Mm. Anti-immigrant sentiment has never been higher. So I think that we should embrace an opportunity to you know, highlight the fact of the contribution of the Azorian immigrants to this town and by way of a reception honoring the mural, mm. honoring the artist of the mural who happens to be Portuguese from the Azores. Uh, I agree wholeheartedly with everything we you said. I will ask one other no question. To all this. Yeah, one question though. One person so, at a time, please. With regards to what uh, Mr. De Brito is bringing for the actual exhibition, are these also related? Are they? They're, they're presumably works related to his Portuguese American perspective. perspective. Is that how we're framing it then? Because I think that if we frame it that way, then I, 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 I see no problem really. But if, we're, if it's going to be you know, other works by Mr. De Brito that are you know, not in any way related to his Portuguese American. I do think he does other works. And that, I'm sure. Because we've looked at his other works before. I, mean, I think the, to keep the focus, to keep, to, to, to keep it consistent with the speakers, and as you said, Nora, the recognition that we're looking for uh, here with the, arts, the Heritage and Arts Commission and the fact that it is the first public work, uh, it has to be somehow Portuguese-American related mm -hmm. and related to the theme of uh, immigration and uh, settlement. To some, to some well, I don't know that you, he has specific works. I mean, the, the dairy is a picture mm -hmm. of something that was operated by the Portuguese. We, we can also have the actual triptych yeah. that was done of the mural. So the tile do that you, the mural was done on comes from a triptych that he did. Do you think he would object? You know, we had those photo, well, lovely photographs right. uh, that were at the opening ceremony. Right. Do you think you would object to more contextual elements like that? Or is that something? No, but that's what that's what the historian's gonna do. He's, He's gonna, gonna do a PowerPoint presentation. But with all due respect, I think he is wanting this like an artist where he is gonna be selling his work. It is not a historical presentation. So if you're gonna do all the triptychs and all the historical part there's not going to be a whole lot of room for him to show his work. And we have seen, well, at least I have seen some of his work, is not necessarily Portuguese related or historically related. He's very colorful mm -hmm. and all of that. He's, so I, I understand but... what we want to do, but is that what the artists really want to do? Because if the artist is looking at this as a regular gallery show mm -hmm. with the intention of selling, mm -hmm then it falls back into our old <laughs> policy. So I'm just asking for it. That's good clarification. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can ask him okay. if, in fact, there, his paintings that he will bring will be representative of his uh, heritage. His heritage. Yeah. I think, yeah. That's, his, I think that's a fair interpretation his work, of his absolutely. work that he has done in Tehran. Because that's one way then we can differentiate it from a regular yeah. artist's reception and keep the focus on, uh, on, on the... On the it becomes more of a program than, well, with the it's still on the selling that's I mean, going to be allowed. But there is still, the historian is coming from the Sausalito Portuguese American Association or whatever. I mean, he's going to be speaking about immigration. Right. And so to keep it thematically you know, consistent. I think uh, mm. that would be a question that if, if, if Mr. De Brito has other work that he feels are representative of his Portuguese American heritage or something like that in some way, uh, that would be great. Or he could speak about his work in some way, his, his oeuvre in some way as being coming out of his 
his own experience as a Portuguese American artist. Okay. So that way it won't be an artist reception. The tricky part is on the selling. It is, um, yeah. I still would like to understand why the, a banner is $200. I just was curious. Well, I, I think because is. we could not get the one through Dave Gotts fast enough. Right. Then we have to go to Davis Signs. Exactly. It has happened before for us as well. Oh, this is a banner that's been made already? No, you are approving oh. it tonight. This is so it. So it's right not going to be s soon enough for... No, we had to wait, so that is wait. why we do not have time to get a lower cost one. We are getting the approvals tonight on everything right. as requested. And I would make a point of reference that an objection to a lecturer who is speaking about heritage on this peninsula is totally understandable. I will put this on public record to me, considering that part of our name is heritage and arts. Sure. And the and exhibit one is the banner, is that correct? Correct. Yeah. Okay. I, are we giving the artist exhibition a and no, no, no. We're letting him sell. Does we're this letting say letting him sell they're different? This on two. If if you notice one does not have as much detail. That's so the banner. Yes, yeah, that's, that's the banner. The banner. You had it in color um, ahead of time. Uh, exhibit one is the banner. Exhibit two is the invitation. Has the banner been ordered? No, it was no, not because ordered because everything was put on a halt until this evening before it could be approved by the commission. Right. So mm. after so now that you we've... talk to the artist, then we have to kind of consider the title of this because it says history and art <coughs> lecture, okay, with exhibition and reception, and then the artist's name. I guess that will work. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's a little wordy, but I, 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 I feel like... It is a lot of words. I feel like the idea, though, now that we have kind of narrowed it down a little bit, is, is, is fine, and I think uh, I agree with yeah. Patty that it is part of the heritage uh, 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 mission that we have as a commission. Um, history and art lecture. I don't like the word lecture. Yeah, yeah a talk. lecture is a talk, <laughs> not a lecture. I like talk. Uh, history and art talk by Portuguese American artist João de Brito. But then you're repeating Portuguese theory, mural artists. Yeah, the whole thing has got to be changed a bit. Yeah, it's a little wordsmithing, but I think it can be done. Yeah. I think it's, it's hard when you're driving by, you're not going to catch all of this. Well, I, I guess the question is, how, how many times do you want to redo this? Because it may push the cost up even further if we've got to do it on a shorter time frame. As it is, we're paying more because of You need to decide tonight. We only have the rest of this week and next week to order it and get it. Yeah. Uh, it was scheduled to go up the third this Monday, right. but that's not happening because we needed to wait till this evening. Yeah. So if the, if the meeting is on the, if the uh, thing is on the 14th, it's, okay. it's really getting tight. I mean, you know, I'm not going to quibble decide about it. Decide tonight I mean, I and they'll change it. It's only going to be up for a week, right? Two right. weeks. Two weeks. I, I, I think just, you just change yeah. it tonight. Talk about it and change it. Does this uh, invitation go to uh, the people that you're inviting? We're on the banner. This? We're on the banner right now. Please, you need to continue with the banner yeah. and finish making a decision well, on the banner. Well, it said the invitation. I'm asking if this is the invitation. Also. There are two the documents. Is exhibit no, the two. Is the, the first one is the I, banner. I, I would propose this. Okay. I would propose taking João de Brito, Portuguese dairy mural artist to the top and uh, right below the actual image, Shroud de Brito, Portuguese Dairy Millaris, and then write um, uh, history, you know, uh, the history and art of Portuguese settlement. No, history and art talk exhibition and reception 
with exhibition and reception. Just change, change lecture to talk. Okay. But, and, and you want me to take out Heritage and Arts Commission? And no, no, no. I'm mean saying no. move Jao de Brito, just switch the two. Put the name up first so that. The name up know. first. And the Portuguese name American, right the Portuguese the dairy mural artist, and then write history and art talk, talk. with yeah, exhibition and reception. Put a little that space. That way we know that, that way, it, because history and art, leading with history and art is kind of, you know, uh, what's it a about? Little What's it about? <laughs> and it's a little yeah. so, but we know that it's about the Portuguese dairy mural and right. the artist who did the Portuguese dairy mural art. So that's why I'm just saying. I think visually it'll look better that way because the name and Make the artist right. would be right underneath exactly. the artwork. Exactly. And, and then, then there's a space so that you know it's going to be his, something uh, uh, you know, else. Yeah. Okay. An eve, you know, whatever you want, an evening of history and art with exhibition and, you know, at a, okay. uh, with exhibition and reception or whatever. Something. All right. So, so those are the two choices I have either. History and art, an evening of history and art, or uh, just history talk or, or replace talk. Yeah. I mean, okay. You know, I think that's I think that's nice because it makes it a little more kind of. Yeah. Cleaner. yeah. That, that's fine, but it's not coming back and it's not getting postponed for another meeting. No, no. That's nope. it. Okay. So that's approved. Yeah. Thank you, Arjun. All right. Do we need a motion on that or not? I Yes. Move. yes. I move that we accept the cost of $200 for the banner with the changes as we have discussed and approved. Second. Thank you. Roll call. Chair Atmat? Yes. Vice Chair Gupta? Yes. Commissioner Fong? Yes. Commissioner Hall? Yes. Commissioner Nuguez? Yes. Thank you. Okay, that leaves exhibit number two. You want to do the same thing there? Just switch them up? Yeah. Okay. Is there a motion? I move to uh, accept the invitation with the change of wording and placement that we discussed for the uh, banner applicable to the invitation as well. I second the motion. Roll call vote, please. Uh just ask a question, did, did we want to keep the word lecture on the invitation? No, I'm okay. saying following what, you know, what oh, they said in the banner. Sorry. Per, yes. per, per the changes in the banner. All right. Chair Atamad? Yes. Vice Chair Gupta? Yes. Commissioner Fong? Yes. Commissioner Hall? Yes. Commissioner Noguez? Yes. Thank you. Oh. Okay, so those were the two first staff recommendations. Now we consider approval of the art installation and reception dates. So I just spoke on the phone right this minute because it came down to the last minute with Public Works about painting of the upstairs lobby. Mm -hmm. We moved it to July 10 for the installation because they're working as fast as possible to get everything painted. They may not paint everything, but they will make sure that one way or the other the lobby is painted in time to hang the work on the 10th. In the gallery. gallery. It, the ga pardon me, not the lobby. Thank you. The community room gallery. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's the most they can say. They're not sure everything will be finished, but they, we pushed it to the 10th so that it could get hung and the reception could happen on the 14th. <clears throat> so that needs approval. For discussion. For, for the, the date. date. The 10th, I think that's the 10th, the 10th. 10th is, is a better date anyways. Yeah. And who's going to help him? So the 10th and the 14th. You're, Correct. You're voting 14th on. will be the, the reception. Yes. And the 10th will be. Okay. I move, and, uh, I move we have to. to make a time and people who are going to help him. But we don't have to decide that now. We just need to get this done. I move to approve the date of the installation upstairs in the gallery and the date of the 14th for the artist's talk and reception uh, for July 14th. We, right? we had to do an action. I don't see that. Staff recommends all of these four things under I staff recommends. The four is this catering the next is oh reception no, date for doing staff on the session days. Mm -hmm. okay 
No, we're on number it's two. A little confusing here. Okay, so roll call vote. Chair Etemad. Yes. Vice Chair Gupta. Yes. Commissioner Fong. Yes. Commissioner Hall. Yes. Commissioner Noguez. Yes. Thank you. Okay, now we consider, now we're to, uh, after discussion has been had, considering approval of the catering cost out of the FY23-24 budget. And it seemed like if it was going to be about the same as the one for Thomas Jackson, it would be around $400, $450. That, um, not counting the beverages because those are being purchased as an asset. That's why we can do that in 22-23. And that's the 250 out of the this year's budget R right. is that correct it's actually if we buy more wine if we want to use up plenty of the money i've suggested that you no. buy four cases Talking of wine and spend 650 dollars but that's up to us when we get to the budget but it would be part of that okay <clears throat> but right now we're just talking about the catering cost I would make a motion to approve 450 dollars out of the 23 24 budget for purposes of catering is there a second? I'll second. Roll call vote, please. Commissioner Etemad? Yes. Commissioner, excuse me, uh, Vice Chair Gupta? Yes. Commissioner Fong? Yes. Yes. Commissioner Hall? Yes. And Commissioner Noguez? Yes. Thank you. And I'd just like to add that I think uh, the idea that this will finally bring it home to Heritage and Arts Commission is, is, is a good one to, to showcase the reception as, as work that we've, we've done. Uh, and I think that's a great idea. Because you're right, you know, we may not have gotten exactly the kind of attention that we wanted over the past year necessarily, but this is a way to finally bring it home. Thank you. Yes, and don't forget that we didn't have any kind of reception for Thomas Jackson's uh, photographs here. I don't think anybody knows. Yeah, for the artist. And he, he was the artist for the month of June. But, but on that, if I may just say, we are going to get a video out of it that we are paying for. Well, I hope. That, that was a uh, fundraise. It's not from our budget. See, it is not a competition between. Yeah, it's not no, it's not a competition. <laughs> there was never a request. There was never a yes. request for a reception for Thomas Jackson. Yeah. Okay. Just for the record, there was never a request for a reception. I just want consistency about how we deal with artist receptions according to this policy. Takes place on July 10th. July. And the artist had 14. asked for reduction of uh, That's percentage. item number four. Item number four, consider but, approval uh, of a reduction we, in the commission to the artist, Zhao de Brito, I, for artwork sold during the town hall exhibition. No, 25% is already very low. Okay. So what I is he asking for? I'll forget. 10%. No. Off 25? I or don't what? agree or with he that. He just want to pay 10%. He wants to pay 10%. I mean, again, we have to distinguish this as the fact oh. that it is not somebody coming in off the street saying, I would like to use your facility to show my art. Okay. This is a project, again, that we own. Then it he is. shouldn't be selling them, then. Then we shouldn't be, be charging him anything. Show. Then we shouldn't be charging him anything. Okay, if he doesn't want to sell it, that's fine. If he does sell one. If people want to buy it, what are you going to say? No, you can't buy it. If they want to well, buy sometimes, it, sometimes yes. Some galleries and some artists say no, not for sale. Okay. So what you're saying if is, if he wants to sell something, that we are expecting the 25 percent. Okay, I, I think we that's wrong. We have always practiced on that for years before. Okay. And we are oh, going to do true. it for years ahead. Oh. Okay. okay, and again, I think you have to draw a distinction a between this exhibition, this artist, what he has done for this town, so and you're somebody else. It again. No, I'm separating because it's different. It is not somebody coming in and saying, I'm an artist off the street. I want to exhibit my art because it's my art and I'd like to make some money. I want to exhibit if I don't like his uh, person's art. Okay, well, so what you're saying is if somebody not, says, just, wait, 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 let me just finish. So if somebody, let me just hypothetical, okay? Okay. If somebody says, I really like that piece, draw, I'd like to buy it, call me later and we'll set a price for it. Is that what you want? 
I don't know. Some artists might I, be doing that so that they wouldn't pay that. You know, there is that uh, kind of thing happening in art uh, world. I, I really feel, I, I agree with Arjun. This is very special, and we're giving him special attention because it is our project. But when it comes to this selling of art, I think we need to keep to the policy. 25% is really very reasonable and is, is a transaction. It's, you know, we didn't look at his art um, to get him, you know, to, as you say, to rent the space to show it. And he already got that, and we're doing extras uh, because he is special, which is a reception. We're doing the PR, we're doing the banners. I really think when it comes to the actual selling of his art, we should, we, I think 25% is very reasonable. I would agree with that. Okay, so that does not preclude him from selling the art? No. As, okay, no. But thank the, you. But the commission that the Heritage and Arts makes should be 25%. Okay, so if he sells yeah. it here, fine. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I would All not right. encourage him to do it outside. That's kind of well, working that's around him. the system. Th that's up to him. Well, thank right. you. I but hope that's not being mentioned. But the, but but the yeah. idea is that whatever works he has being shown upstairs, if one of those works is sold it's, it has to from it. while it's, while it's, you know, during the, ex while it's being exhibited, then the, the, the town and the Heritage and Arts Commission makes the 25% commission on the sale because he's not, he doesn't have any other outside representation as far as I, I think that was made clear. Oh, he has a gallery where he shows his art. Oh, so are they okay with that? Are they okay with him selling uh, He can us? sell his art wherever he wants, basically. Oh, then it's not a exclusive. Okay, then it's not it's exclusive, not then exclusive. That's, that's fine. Right, Great. but what I'm saying is, if I were him, and someone approached me about my art, I'd say, you know, let's talk, and let's go, you know, you can see all my pieces and pick something. Well, I don't think that speaks well of the artist in terms well, of integrity. If that's what he he's going to do. Should he be putting not for sale just as... Thomas Jackson did, and then if somebody buys those, Thomas Jackson will be talking to them on the side, but you just put not for sale. Yeah, exactly. It? I mean, you have to have one or the other. Yeah. Either they're for sale at, at the show or they're not for sale at the so show. If they are for sale at the sale. show and they're sold, then 25%. I think part of the policy we have is that the art should be available for sale. For sale. At a yeah, because we don't want an exhibit Thomas where the Jackson, artists say not for sale. Thomas not Jackson for sale. put all three of his pieces up on the wall and they're not for sale. We're not talking about Thomas Jackson. No, I'm talking about consistent. an artist. Well, if you want consistency, I thought that was the same. That's the same thing. He has the month of June and Debrito has the month of July. Without without any reception or okay. so any kind of. So I have a question. Of the pictures that are currently on display here, does that mean that? Thomas Jackson cannot sell any of his work without giving He's, us a cut? He, yeah, the, the, those pictures he gave us because he has not gotten the portfolio of images that he wanted for this installation that we have. So he just said, you know, because I don't have the photographs that I want to sell, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you the photogra a few photographs that I took so you can have it on show at the town. He's basically, it's not a... It's it's not a it's not a show a gallery show in that sense. It's more of a kind of a publicity publicity display for the for the installation itself. So any pictures or any art that he sells that shows any of the work that he did. For if him. if if it's here if it's here, and that's what I'm saying. Those are not for sale because he doesn't intend to sell those pictures out that are oh. currently hanging out there. Oh. But if he had pictures that were here that he was going to sell. And they were, you know, somebody walked up and said, you know, I want, I, I would love to buy that. Can I talk to the artist about it? Because they saw it here. Then we would definitely yeah. be getting a piece. He of just that. missed his opportunity because will, he didn't get the pictures. Yeah, he missed the opportunity because he didn't get the get the photographs that he wanted to sell okay. done in time. But but if he does it outside, he yeah. can do that. He has oh, yeah. a gallery. The gallery yeah. shows his work all the yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I think it's all avoiding, elevating form over substance. I mean, the substance is that he's going to make money because he got to show his work here. No, no. Right. He, he's, make, is, he's making money because he's got an installation here for two, exactly. seven weeks. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. As does Mr. DeBrito, who has a permanent 
a work of art now for perpetuity forever it's here. Even permanent. Yeah, absolutely. But but the, the issue is not we're not a gallery, we're not a dealer. Right. Yeah. You know, exactly. so 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 that's why we have it at sim simple you know, if if those are photographs that Mr. Jackson wanted to sell, he would have told us, sell them. But those aren't the photographs that he wants released for sale. He has some that he, is, he's, he presumably will sell through his representation at some point. And those are also, some of those photographs will be going to some of the donors as well for their contributions. But um, what's up there is really just publicity for the show and for you know, our work and not, it's not a sales opportunity. I think Mr. DeBrito sees his reception as a sales opportunity and he's welcome to sell them, I think, uh, you know, upstairs as long as whatever is sold gets a commission that goes to a fair commission, which is 25%. Because if it was at a dealer, their commission would be much higher. 50. Yeah. But we're not in the business. But we're not in the That's right. We're, so we're already giving him a great 25% commission, you know, deal on it. Okay, so, but he has the option to sink. None of these pieces are for sale here. Yeah, sure. Okay. He could write that, yeah. Okay. I mean, he can sell them however he wants, ultimately. But yeah, he's, if he's, somebody wants to, if somebody <laughs> comes to the reception and says, I love this piece, Mr. DeBruta, I want this piece. Right. I want this painting. Right. And then you usually you feel, you know, I have shown these things before I'm an artist. It, my conscious doesn't allow me to say, yeah, I will sell it for you, but someone. Yeah, but my next week is we, we need to take into account people's financial but situations. But you won't do it. No, he, I, but he, he's there, an honorable. There is, I, I'm I'm just saying there's such a thing oh, as, and I'm not saying that the there are some artists that have more money than well, others, and for some it's a stretch to be able to yeah. to give huh? that yeah. much yeah. of their work, yeah. you know, to somebody else. We would get. And I think if if. You know, and, and th there is a reason for a comparison. Oh, Thomas we, Jackson, we had to pay his airfare, we had to pay his lodging. We didn't have to do any of that for Debrito or any of the other people involved with this. And so what I'm saying to you is, what I'm saying to you. He has a permanent place to show his work. I'm just saying, forever. We paid for all those expenses because he didn't that have the money to get so himself important. out here. And we are essentially an underwriting a video for him. So there's a lot that went out. Let's not, you know, discount all that. Yeah, but, but, but the, the idea of any sales that Thomas Jackson would have had here was also at a 25% commission as well. If we weren't discounting him either. So nobody gets a discount if they're selling through the gallery in the town hall. We don't ask for the financial statement of any artists when they come. They do know the policy. So. And it's still, as I said, a much better deal than if they were selling it through their own gallery or representation. It's still a, you know, we would take at least 40%, if not more. Okay. All right. Galleries charge 50 to 60%. But he can also mark it up. You know, yeah. Mr. DeBrito can is, price it at whatever he that's wants. That's why galleries are expensive. You know? <laughs> if he needs any help with that. <laughs> I mean. Oh. Okay, so huh. moving on okay, to then. action item number three. Budget. Action. Oh. No, that's so, budget. so I guess just to finish off on item number four, then um, I would make a motion to cut his commission to 10%. I'm, is there a second? Motion fails. Okay. I heard her say okay. 10% rather than 25. <clears throat> Okay, hey, action item number three. Review the 2022-23 budget spreadsheet and consider approval of final expenditures. Ah. Nora, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, that. for 2022-23 budget, this staff report is as follows. Summary, the h and will discuss the fiscal year 2022-23 general operating fund <laughs> GOF, the h and special fund SF, and the public art fund PAF. Heritage and Arts may consider approval for expenditures from the fiscal year 2022-23 general operating fund, the special fund, and the public art fund as discussed. 
the Town of Tiburon approved the fiscal year 23-24 budget as requested with an increase of 5,000, or two, excuse me, with an increase to $5,500. Recommendation, staff recommends that the Heritage and Arts review the fiscal year 2022-23 general operating fund, the special fund and the public art fund and consider approval of one or more of the listed suggestions. Background. The Heritage and Arts has three established funds shown in the spreadsheet, which is attached as exhibit number one. Item number one, the general operating fund currently $314 approximate with all charges to date and estimated to be spent on operation expenses, including estimated previously approved items. Item two, the special fund currently $5,488.29 and the item number three, public art fund, currently $7,040. That's page one of two. Analysis, page two of three, excuse me. Fiscal year 23, general operating fund. The general operating fund is funded at the start of every fiscal year with, a, with an established amount currently $3,500. If the funds are not used in the designated fiscal year or earmarked for a specific cost going into the new fiscal year, they will disappear. Request for an earmark is not guaranteed and must be approved. The general operating fund is used for operating expenses. Any other uses must be approved by the town manager and or the town council. Fiscal year 2022-23 special fund. The special fund is used for earned heritage and arts income through gallery sales and other fundraising activities that have no special earmark. Fiscal year 2022-23 public art fund is funded by donations earmarked specifically for public art. Within that category, they may be specifically earmarked for a certain project. Fiscal year 23-24 general operating fund. Town Council approved the requested increase to $5,500 at their meeting June 21st, 2023. Financial impact, staff anticipates possible fiscal impact to the town as stated in the summary above. Recommendation, staff recommends that the Heritage and Arts number one, review the 2022-23 general operating fund and consider approval of funds for a public reception showcasing the Portuguese dairy mural project as shown in spreadsheet. A, estimated banner cost 200, B, estimated Portuguese dairy mural reception beverages, and C, estimated not to exceed amount. Item number two, consider approval of purchase of three cases of wine or more as discussed, and four cases of sparkling water for receptions in fiscal year 23-24 to be held as assets. As shown in spreadsheet, A, estimated three cases wine at the cost of $15 per, case, per 12 case. $15 mm -hmm. or times 12, 12 case, case times, per case. sorry, per case. And four cases of water, $25 per case <coughs> for a total of $640. And item number three, consider approval of two new tablecloths for receptions as shown in spreadsheet, spreadsheet A, estimated two <coughs> tablecloths at $50 each for a total of $100. Exhibits, item number one, fiscal year 2022-23 budget. And page three of three is blank. Well, page three of three is the budget, I guess. No, oh. page three of three <coughs> turned out to be a blank. Okay. okay. Excuse me. So I will just point out that the estimated charges, just like we already talked about them, are in yellow. <coughs> Excuse me. $200 for the banner for the dairy mural. $250 for the Portuguese dairy reception beverages. $640 for the beverages uh, going forward as assets. <coughs> Excuse me, and 100 for the tablecloths. I thought we didn't need any tablecloths because table it cloth. looked so nice during the time that we <coughs> did it for um, Thomas Jackson. We did not use tablecloths table yeah, for Thomas Jackson. We didn't use any, and don't the table look. looked really beautiful. There may be a time that. We're just posing that there may be a time that tablecloths would be used for something a little more elegant than just the tables where you see the flip up side and well, the bowlers. Well, you're it's changing. Up to you. This uh, is money that's going to go away. We used to have some tablecloths. They're what not happened in to them? good shape and they don't fit anymore, the tables that are up there. 
Yeah, I, I, again, I just need to underscore the fact that if we don't spend this money, it's going to go away. So why wouldn't you spend the money to buy two nice tablecloths that we could have that if we wanted to do a more yes. elegant reception, we could do it? Well, you know why I get so worried about money? Because we don't have enough money to, to uh, have an IT. Okay, you're not... This money's going it's away. It's going Jolly. away. Digital... Chair Etamad, yeah. this money is going away in five days, three days, if we don't spend it. And secondly, that money is the increase that was asked for for next year, the extra $2,000 for an IT program. And that has been approved. We'll get there. But we could essentially put this into IT, but at this point, obviously, it's not going to do it. Too late. Uh, it's too late and it's too, too late. small. But um, I would like to uh, consider other items to use up at least the $300 that's left. Mm -hmm. um, I think $15 a bottle of wine is on the high side. I know the library, <laughs> we, we usually aim around 10, but maybe it's inflation. But we could get more wine, whatever it is. That's just a side comment. As long as um, for the $300, I would like the commission and anybody else consider buying some nice easels for our signage. We have one that's just outside. I was thinking about a specific kind of canvas um, holder for, for artists, prints, or um, chiglets um, that they could sell at regular, because we, we don't have anything to kind of stand it up that are not hung. Um, those are part, I don't know, $70, whatever, on Amazon. And then some of the tabletop, you know, like in the library, I think you could get that at Office Depot. Um, and I'm happy to make a quick run before the 30th <laughs> to buy some things or get online with Patty to buy something from Amazon to use that. But that's a, a measly $300. And as far as for the reception beverage, that's fine, the 250 So in essence, along with what we approve for next year, 450 the reception is essentially $600, which is twice as much as we usually do for regular artists' wines. So we are giving special attention to Chouet um, de Brito. With that, I think the best way to spend it is just on wine and all. And I, I really have no comment for tablecloths because it means extra work for the commissioners. We usually take it home to wash. And we are the only commission that has to do some kitchen duties. My other suggestion is that I think the closet should have some shelves that are specifically set out for Decent. the commission. We're looking for the forks, we're looking for the cups, it's either on the upper or lower, it's just really frustrating. If we could get some shelves from Ikea, whatever, <laughs> Home Depot, just have one section of that closet that contains the commissioner's Kitchen. things. But that's my suggestion on the extra money. I think I like those. In suggestions but if you want to buy the one tablecloth out of this 300 so that it can be used for the reception it's not out of it's, the 300 it's, it's, it's already put in so we still have 300 of before. I really would like the easel for um, for artists to sell their uh, prints or copies of their you know or you know, pr just uh, posters, anything that they might have. Yeah. And um, I did see one thing on Amazon. I even thought for myself, it was a $15 or so sort of like a fold-up easel metal, sort of like a music stand, if you see those folding music stands, if we could use it there. Um, Another idea was, uh, I know Zeta really hated those uh, A-frame boards outside when we advertise our artist reception. So well, we could spend some money on a better <laughs> sign, <laughs> post, <laughs> whatever. I mean, as I said, we could 
do a one hour Amazon web search and use up to 300. <laughs> No well, I mean, if, if you want to talk about deficiency, I think to me the biggest deficiency is we don't have a PA system. That is true, but I don't think it should come out of our budget. I really feel that would be used by other people, and I would like the town to pick that up as maybe even, um, well, that's a good idea. If we have that kind of money to think about, well, I could go with you. I would also like a a screen, maybe we could show so, the videos. <laughs> so these are all good ideas. So I would suggest that um, the 250 would, uh, excuse me, the 450, which has to do with the re reception is one thing, and the banner. If you want to, um, you have three days left, mm -hmm. uh, I would uh, suggest that one of the commissioners steps forward to go buy the wine, um, and they can buy as much, you might as well add the 640, the 250, and the 100 to the 314, and you have three days to spend it on all of the suggestions that you've made. Um, so you can divvy it up if you can get less expensive um, wine or more of it. I would like to nominate Vice Chair, who is a good wine pourer. If he could at least tell us what to buy, I'm happy to make the wine run. <laughs> <laughs> Since you, you do have a family home up there, you're closer to the vines. Um, and They're I'm, really expensive up there. Uh, yeah, but I mean, if you tell me, you know, pick up whether it's at Costco or whatever, <laughs> um, I think, um, you know, within the price range, I mean, anywhere I, from I, 12 I, to 15. Commissioner, uh, Commissioner Fong, I, I appreciate your <laughs> trust in my uh, in your sommelier uh, abilities. Talent, yeah. I will say that... Um, I think since you're already working with the library committee and you have experience with, and you've probably been drinking wine. Not on long, that committee. Oh, <laughs> not on the wine committee. All right, he, he, I, drinking I wine longer than I. Okay, I will volunteer. Thank you. I mean, there are some great wines at great price points yeah. that we can get at Safeway, at, uh, right. at okay. the Nugget, and, at, and at, uh, at, at the Spanish table as well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I, so how, how much out of, yeah, and that's where we, I came up with the $15 average. That really is, for a decent wine, the going rate, uh, reds, whites, and sparkling. So it's the 250 and the 640 if you discount, take the, the uh, tablecloths out of there, that uh, Nora is going to be going out to spend. Is that correct? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And and what are we going to do with the hundred dollars? We we will not get tablecloths. I, I can buy them online. That's what I've looked at. I think I think that, that the really I think that wall. Victoria and John, your your suggestions about <laughs> other things are a great suggestion. But I think we need to really kind of think about what exactly we're going to. We don't want to just rush and do a a one hour Amazon oh, I know. search. We want to really kind of get the do? right the right. Yeah, uh, implements and for. I think we could bring it up, but unfortunately, absolutely. Came in that. Oh, the other thing. But those are great yeah, ideas. So I think the, yeah, I think, I think the tablecloths. I would love to see a tablecloth. I love tablecloths. I and we too. need two oh, oh. to need to, to, spit, flip, to fit the table. As long as as long as there are our tablecloths and and, and there are wine it. stains that we have to bleach out of them or whatever, that's fine. I just would hate to come to the closet and get the tablecloths for something and then find somebody yeah. else's use them. Right, and, and the reality is that, I mean, every time we have a reception, we do dishes yeah. and we clean off the tables and sometimes we even vacuum. So it's not like we don't do manual labor and we do it because- Oh, we're, we're out there every other we're day- We're the only one doing it. Fixing yeah. the fiberglass poles that have come out, <laughs> believe me. <laughs> so we're willing to let go of the 300 I, I think I think given that we have very little time and now we have a whole year to plan for this time next year, so we won't be in the same position where we have to rush to make decisions about a few hundred dollars at the end of the fiscal year. I think this time around, I think it's okay. My, my feeling is not to get hung up on, on, on it right on now. On the 300? Yeah. We could also spend it more on the wine. We could. And use it up. Or how about the uh, well, I think table. that's a good idea if you want what, to spend Plates, okay, plates what? and napkins. We could have a supply of plates. Oh, yes. And um, napkins. For and the green uh, cups and yeah, things. The green cups and the re um, environmentally correct usage. Oh. They are more expensive. 
That's true. You know, the brown yeah. paper and yeah, brown paper napkins. We yeah. have a special place to leave this and nobody would fiddle around with it. It will be only for that we can get our to. use. I'm sure that we can get to at some point. But I think for our purposes now, with three days, there's a lot of things that we could certainly put into this bag. But let's keep it short and sweet. I look for well, some let's, stamps. Let's just use it off for, for art. Yeah. Oh. For art stands, I um, look for it. That's you have ideas for about it, that. And if you yeah. could do it within, you know, just send it out to Patty and, yeah. and I'll go from there. Um, but I think the 300. In the next three days? For now, the, the three days, I don't have three days. I, have, I don't either. I don't either. But to, to go. You know, I, I, I just want to remind the, the commission that this okay. money belongs to the town of Tiburon and it should be thoughtful ahead of time, planned. Um, it, it really isn't appropriate to just... Well, what, only spending if we it get online, the budget I agree, on time. But, but if you don't have time for, to research the stands and so on, the wine makes sense. Yeah, we can get the stands definitely mm. for, next, for right. the next event, absolutely. And, and, you know, you oh, can I buy stuff on it. Amazon and it, it doesn't hold up, so it's better right. to get something, well, research it and to get it. But I agree completely with Arjun. I think time is of the essence. We need to spend this money, and we are spending it wisely in as much as if we get the wine now, then we have it for future yeah. receptions. If we get two tablecloths, then we can have a classy reception. And, and the napkins, and cups, and I think that's napkins, a great idea. Napkins and, and Napkins, uh, all the um, plates, recyclable plates get, and all that. So them. I would rather do that, and unless if you come up with a really good stand for the prints and all that, that's I'm happen. okay for it. But um, yeah, the I other thing is that tomorrow and, yeah, let you know and right see what the happens. Day. But otherwise, um, you know, I'm I'm happy to help you, Nora, uh, if you want to, you know, go shopping spree. Um, <laughs> oh, then, yeah. I think you can see is that by the amount of money that I spent yeah. on this event <laughs> for the. Um, no, no, no. We're, I'm we're saying, building I, up I, our pantry, and um, you know we're going to have a nice year coming up yeah. with all of it okay. and with all the you know little things that we could get with this extra money where do you buy the tablecloths from and what color uh, you know um, white white because you off can bleach white? it off white you need to be able to bleach it white. there's no more bad birth than beyond right. In the sake white. of time we are at 7 30 yes. we're two hours into this we right. have another um action item okay here so I, I would suggest that I think we've got a pretty good idea of how to spend up all the money. Right. Yes. Plates and all of those things I will cost. What to do you could tomorrow. spend and some money on really stocking up. Right. So do we need a motion on yes. this? Yes. Okay. I, I would move that we would um, spend the money as we have discussed. And if we should not meet the deadline, let that amount be returned to the town. <coughs> oh, it will be returned to the town. So we're talking about. I am fine with the, that, wine, the wine, okay. wine, wine tablecloths, um, utensils, util, um, utensils. Um, utensils. But be the on the environmentally correct side. For the reception, reception. For the reception. Napkins, reception. reception, napkins, um, utensils like forks if we're going to ever have cake, um, <laughs> serving dishes, whatever. Okay. Napkins, oh. napkins and plates. Mm -hmm. Napkins and plates. Thank you. Napkins, plates, wine. And cups. wine and water. Cups. cups. And cups. cups. But we use glass. Oh, we use glass. Okay, there you go. Great. No, but people ask for water. <laughs> we don't have enough. No, we don't have enough wine glasses to go through, and I don't think we should be washing dishes in between. <laughs> so you want to use... I'd like... I'd like to have some recycled some cups. cups. Oh, we cups. have recycled pl uh, cups that we use. Yeah, there. but we could buy more. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. So that's 640, 100, and 300? Is that right? 640, 250, 100, and 319. We can, I'll confirm that with you tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <coughs> okay. I, I will In second. writing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Vote. Do we need, well, there's no public. Never mind. We made a motion. No Did we get a me. second? She seconded. I seconded. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure okay. on that. And okay. Okay. And the vote, Chair Etemon? Yes. Vice Chair, Chair Gupta? Yes. Commissioner Pong? Yes. Commissioner yes. Hall? Yes. Commissioner Noguez? Yes. Thank you. 
And the last item, review gallery opening and consider approval of exhibition date and timeline. This is for the um, suggested gallery opening of inviting the former artists right. uh, who have shown here. Um, Chair Etimad has pulled together uh, four pages of emails and phone numbers. They should have a big um, yeah. And uh, <laughs> she was requesting that I list all this and reach out to everyone. I did check and it really is, should be the commission that sends these out and keeps track of who responds because you'll need to determine, do you have enough critical mass to make this happen? Are there enough people who can do it on the date? It's gonna take monitoring uh. and, um, and receiving and uh, indexing on a spreadsheet, et cetera, et cetera. It's really not the place of staff to do that. It really is a commission directed project. So I believe that you were proposing the month, August, everyone is gone. So perhaps starting in September. No, we'll, we'll start, I was thinking about what you had mentioned on August. Yes, but we have to start That in gives September. you time, it gives you two months to work. Yeah. I think you need an ad hoc. I can, I can work with you on creating a spreadsheet. Okay. On this spreadsheet. We have four pages of emails mm -hmm. and we already have a letter to send. Correct. An invitation letter to them, so we can and send some it via email. But I think the phoned. email should come from Patty. From no, because town. then they will respond to me, and you need to keep track of everyone responding. Yes, we'll keep track of yeah. it. No, I. The, it'll need to come from the chair's email, I, and I mean, you and, and Arjun can work together. Yeah, on yeah. I mean, I think especially in light of this is something that you really wanted to do, and I think it's a good idea. But I think. The personal touch is because you are chair. Yes. To reach out to them makes it that more special. Well, that invitation that we have created, it is going from me. Right, okay. but it will come from your email also. Right. It's coming. I, right. I can, I can, I okay. can help you with it. It I can, can go from my email if you right. want to do it. But uh, the responses have got to come to me. Hopefully, I won't miss them. I'll, I'll help you with yeah. that. We'll, all work we'll make sure that nothing is missed. Okay, that, so that's you'll great, start then. out as an ad hoc while okay. Chair Etamad is still chair. We we will have a, another yes. chair election at the end of July, but that gives plenty of time to go out as that named chair. Okay. So the date is now in September. The first, I don't have my calendar. calendar. The month oh, of September. I don't have a calendar, calendar here. So September fourth is Labor Day. So it won't be that. No, right after the. Maybe, maybe. Do you want to do it the following Monday, the 11th, or do you want to do it on a Thursday or Friday? Well, the 11th is 9/11. Yeah, that's not a great day to start. Forgot about that. Yeah, can't do that. Okay, what day? How about? Um, uh, could be the following week because could, it doesn't really you matter what week it is. You could also do it on the mid midweek. Start midweek. There's plenty of time. Can this do it a little sooner? Do it on the 15th or Friday? How about an opening on the Friday, the 15th? Fridays are difficult Friday to get anyone to come. Perfect, Thursdays yeah. are better. Thursdays are better. Well, because okay. everyone leaves Thursday for weekends. 14th. Thursday 14th. Uh, okay. Let's do uh, Thursday the 14th. I just, yeah. Thursday the 14th. I just want to point out, I, it shouldn't matter, but Friday the 15th is Rosh Hashanah. It begins at sundown. So The 14th. Oh. Would be good. 14 14th. is not mm -hmm. a good yeah. day either. Why? How about 12? <laughs> How about Wednesday the 13th? 13th is good. Wednesday the 13th. Middle of the week is good. Wednesday the 13th. That's a nice break. And then they could. Okay. Wednesday 13th. 9 13th. So we're going to vote on what an ad. The date? For, the, for the former artist's exhibition, September 13th. Okay. Um, and when will you install the work? That's the reception. Am I correct about that? Mm -hmm. Oh. So the timeline would be that you would want all artwork delivered by the first of September 4th? Or, or, or yeah, well, September 4th. That's, that's a Labor Day. That's Labor Day. Labor Day. September it's going to be really tight for a lot of people. Before the Labor Day. Vacation <laughs> too. Before the Labor Day. It's going to be tight for, wait, hold on. Victoria, what are you saying? It's going to be tight for artists. Have they agreed to do it? Well, that's what not? we don't know, you see. Yeah, so. Well, we have we have the whole month well, of you former. Yeah, you I mean, presumably, 
if artists come with their works, we can store them upstairs somewhere. Is there a space for that? <coughs> So before we install, because the installation will have to take place. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. taken. We've done that before. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that's yeah, okay. well, it'll be okay. It'll work out. <laughs> I just, you know. I didn't get the date. Otherwise, we keep pushing it further mm -hmm. and further into September. Yeah. Right? There would be enough artists that will want to do sure. something. So I think it's voting so on the month of September and the ad hoc is what you really want to do. You can hash out the dates yeah. as you go September along. 13. So let's just make the date September 13th, Wednesday for the reception, okay. and you and I can work as an ad hoc committee to yeah. do all the planning Should for the planning. artists and sending okay. out the invitations and all of that, <clears throat> right? And when they need to get their right. artwork oh. in by. Okay. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So do we have a motion? Five, four or five days to do we have a motion I'm, I'm uh, for the ad hoc and, and the dates? I move yeah, to form ahead. an ad hoc for the former artists gallery exhibition coming this fall in September and f to propose the date of September 13th as the opening reception day for the artists exhibition. What is it, September 13th? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Second. Thank you. Commissioner, excuse me, yes. Chair Ataman? Yes. Vice Chair Gupta? Yes. Commissioner Fong? Yes. Commissioner Hall? Yes. Commissioner Noguez? Yes. Thank you. And one uh, discussion item, receive update on commemorative book. Well, I'm on the ad hoc. We have not met, okay. although we are not, I'm not the chair, but I'll just give my opinion. <laughs> and um, I've asked three times, I have not been able to find the commemorative book um, upstairs. So as soon as I find it and take a look, as far as the policy, just in reviewing it, I know there's a discrepancy between when someone wanted to make a um, proposal, whom to go to first. A lot of people go to the patty, but they could also, as with the last person, went directly to the um, building. And that's where it got a little They went to post. Up. Post, yep. excuse me. Um, it was David issue, I guess. Um, so I think that's something that we'll be working on together to uh, synchronize some things and to change some um, things such as the length of the um, memo and, the and memory policies. and the policies. But that's Great. the okay. discussion part and that's all I have to report for my part. We the have book, not met. The book has been found. Oh, where is it please? Up at my front counter now. Oh, okay. I went upstairs and it was in there. Last okay. Week. Well, I didn't know. I'll put it in. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Okay. If we're ready to adjourn. Oh my. Fine. Oh. Time. Seven forty p.m. Seven forty p.m. Adjourn. Okay. Oh, so two hours. <laughs> no, no, no. That's the uh, artist reception. The next oh. meeting will be. The seven thirty.